Good morning, everybody. I am here with my Satmorn makes, and I was able to do an Anna White Blue in July pro, um, project as well. So I wanted to share those. Cheers. And I will start with my Anna White Blue in July using... I got a bunch of Seren, what were they? Serendipity stamps by Impression Obsession. We're getting rid of their rubber stamps. I think it was last month. So I got a bunch of different little um, snowmen that I just think are so pretty, so cute, fun to color. So I did do Copics and my, um, what are those over there? Tri Blends by St Spectrum Noir. And I don't have a die to cut out the image. So on all of these, you're going to see that I tore around it, which I kind of like that effect. Margaret does that a lot. And then I came in with a Copic on this one and just did the light blue. I had this piece at my house, so I brought it over. Kind of got, and I brought that washi there with the holly. And then here, I don't know, this was in my, my Christmas stash. Um, and then at the trailer, I found... Mickey Memories Sweetheart Brad, so I incorporated those there with a little heart and two little red. And then I put it on green to kind of pull out that green on his umbrella and different piece parts of his scarf and mittens. And then I just did this on the inside. So yeah, isn't he cute? Oh my gosh. So actually this morning before I filmed, I already filmed once and I did the uh, looking down. I don't know what I do, but it never comes out. Anywho, being me. So here's another one by Serendipity on um, Impression Obsession. Oh my gosh, I wanted to do blue in July for Anna White's um, promotion. So there's that. And I don't, do I have, yeah, I do have. So this one is called, I don't know if you can still get it though, Snowman with Umbrella. That's a and then <clears throat> the little one with the tree, snowman with tree. They're very right to it. <laughs> Nothing yeah, perfect. Easy to look up. So there you go. You can go to Impression Obsession. I just don't know if they still have them or not. Then I went ahead <clears throat> and did my fall feast inspired to get this by Tina on Crafty Beans. She showed it and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have it. And, of course, I put my stickers that go on the wood part. Um, plastic, you know. But I often don't. It doesn't really matter. But, anywho. I'm going to show you this one. I thought they were mice, Tina. But they have little masks around their eyes. And Margaret and I were looking at it the other day going, she goes, I think they're chipmunks. So, I don't know. I didn't know. So, I did one with, and this is just on a blank front. Um, my watercolor crayons, pastels. So just to kind of get an idea of, and I tore it out and I used around this one, I used, um, who did I use? Archival inks in an orange. I don't know what the color is or name of the color is. So there's that. And then I had this paper. So I got a lot of paper from, this was here. It's kind of nice to just be limited. <laughs> Not that I'm that limited here either. I brought a lot. What are you going to do? Anyway, so I used, this was here. So it has some fall colors in it, some oranges and different things. So I was able to incorporate and use, there's that one. This was by Paper Studio last year or the year, I don't know when. So there's that. Of course, I always get a runny nose. And then I brought out here... I got two of these. One is gems from die cuts or diamond press on HSN. And one is, oh no, this is pearls and gems. Anyway, they're different color waves. So I don't think I have both over here, but. And so I put those enamel dots. And there's that blue again. I'm trying to get that blue. Um, Tina did some beautiful blue gnomes with sunflowers and bees i was like oh i need that she's her creations are so beautiful so there's that and then to compare so this one 
We used my Dollar Tree ribbon, same image, but Copics and tri blends. Love how my leaves came out on this. It's just a little bit more vibrant. I think if I had my watercolor brush paints, you know, our markers here, they would be more vibrant. Just a little bit different. So this background paper here, this gingham, is to bring in that blue. And it's um, also from Stampin' Up! It was here, and there's some enamel dots. There's the ribbon. Now this was a bigger card, so I went ahead and just doodled and used my... I have um, a carrier with some of my sparkly gel pens, so I did that. And I used the gel pen on the welcome sign on both cards. But see how they have kind of a mask? And then this little guy kind of looks a little like he's up to no good. Uh, miscreant. Anyway, and then this little guy. So, yeah, I don't know. It, went, it really doesn't matter. Oh, crap, I got the, the card wet. Camping. I'll have to put something there because the card got wet right there, of course. So, I'm going to keep working on Impression Obsession. I got all these darling primitive cutesy this one is called snow angel so that i love that primitive look and then this one snow person and wreath oh my gosh i just yeah they're round and they're cute so there you go that's why i like them that and gingerbread i'm working on those too so I came in last night because, one, the mosquitoes were out. <laughs> Two, people were partying. It just felt weird to be out there, and I'm over there. I had my fire going for a while on my little tabletop. I'm trying to put upload a video of me. I guess it's a vlog. I think I've mentioned this, but I just am having a hard time getting it to upload, so I'll probably have to wait till I get home. So, anyway. Then, so I came in here, and... I worked on my Woodland Anna Griffin Impresslets dies, and oh my gosh. Ooh, she gives a good eye. I like how she did it in different. You could do it with foil paper. You can do it with inks. Somebody had said foil paper, and I was like, yes, that's a great idea. So well, let me show you what I came up with. So I did each one. So here is the, you just ink this up. And I use my Stampin' Up! I don't have them out anymore because I tried to do this a couple times. Um, I have these ink spots that I grabbed and brought with. So I use, because it's supposed to be water-soluble ink, so that I used real red. And when I needed brown, I used soft suede. And Emerald Envy. I didn't use. It wasn't working. And then Old Olive. So those are the three colors I used. Plus, on one, I went in with an archival ink, Barn Red. It stains it. I mean, it's not going to come off. I don't really care as long as the impression is good. So anyway, here's the wreath. And I that's one of my favorites. So here it is done in the foil, and I cut hand cut out. I don't know if you can see that very good. Let me see. way fussy cut out the bow once I cut it in foil so you're not seeing the impression really good I'm thinking I need to use an embossing mat to go with this to get that impression a little deeper when I'm doing the foil but it's all an experiment and here it is so it gives it kind of this is kind of a fancy vintage look this is more of a country folksy look and I love both thinking I kind of like it for you know depending on your card so then I went in with real red and then I came in with some gel pens there to do the berries and see the difference so it's completely a different look depending on what you're going for so there's the wreath so much fun had a lot of fun in here it was up till for me that's late <laughs> I'll have to start getting used to going to bed early again um, anyway, I was up till like 12.30 last night playing, so, but that's what summer's for, right? So here's the Christmas tree. I love the Christmas tree. Here's it in foil. See the impression there? 
And here it is stamped out. I could add little dots with for um, ornaments or lights. But again, I was just kind of playing with my stuff. So that's the Christmas tree. You get so much with this. Now, I don't have any copper foil or anything, so I just stamped and ran this through on um, cards, heavyweight cardstock. But I'll show you the difference here. One, I got good ink going on that, and I went around the edge with the ink pad, and then there it is without, and I'm sorry, my big fingers are in the way. So there's that. Lighting is, but you get a pretty view. See those ferns? The ferns around here are unbelievable. Love them. So pretty. Okay. Um, let's see. This one is like a, we don't have this over in Eastern Washington. They have this kind of tree with this sprig on it, but we don't. But anyway, doesn't matter. More dry areas. I can't remember the name of the ponderosa pine there you go so there it is in the foil gosh darn it there you go and then i'm really liking it inked up more i think in most of them and let's see i showed you what have i sh i'm gonna lose track of what i showed you i did the this is another one of my favorites this is the one where i put the you can't get it off i put some different things on there to remove the ink but it wouldn't come off anyway did I show you the, here's the holly stamped out. I just think that's gorgeous. And here it is. So I could do this on a light green with a dark green, maybe. Hmm, I'll have to play around. And here it is in foil. And again, I fussy cut it, the berries out. There it is. Varperti. Okay, I'm going to put those over there because I don't know. If I've shown you twice, oops. <laughs> it's, you know, you get what you get with me. Hey, hey. Then I did the poinsettia. And here it I'm stamped out. And then the foil. Oh, it's hard. You're not seeing like getting the whole effect here. There you go. Very pretty. Let's see. I've shown you that, shown you that. I think I've shown you everything. Yes, I have. Oh, wait. Nope. Then it comes with our kind of just pine bough. And here it is in the foil. Okay, so here it is stamped out. Very pretty. Cut a bunch of these out. You got yourself some great embellishment. Here, I had run it through with a bunch of other stuff and forgot to ink it up. So I just went in with ink after it. I'm not real crazy about it, but it's a different way to do it, I guess. So there's that. All right, guys. I think that's all I've created so far. Um, Going to be here I think today and tomorrow. I'm really enjoying just hanging out here. I go to town easily. It's only like, well, town, town, Lake Stevens is very small. Um, there's a mom and pop grocery, but now we're getting donut shops and cookie stores and yeah, biscuit, you know, so it's getting bigger, but it's the original part of the town. And then the other part where Michael's and TJ Maxx, all that is, is about 15 minutes. So it's close. So I can go and shop or go get stuff at my place without a big deal. The only thing that takes so long is you can only drive it's near impossible. Five miles an hour. Five miles an hour on our roads here. Which I get it, but that's a little extreme. Maybe ten. I don't know. Anyway, I was behind a golf cart with an older lady last, uh, driving it, and this other guy behind me was, like, trying to get her and looking her and see what is, why is she going? She's going three miles an hour. <laughs> I'm just like, you can walk faster than me. Anyway, it's just like, um, could you maybe, but then I, you know, you just have to be patient. It's a relaxing place most of the time. 
you got your partiers, you got your elderly, you got your, I don't know, I'm probably the only one that crafts up here, single lady crafting, but that's okay, I enjoy it. So, all right, guys, have a great Saturday, and check out everybody on Satmore Makes for Jill Norwood, hosted by Jill Norwood, and Pound Blue in July, hosted by Anna White. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.